Hi everybody, this is Indira, Assistant Professor of Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Department of Mathematics. Today we are going to see the definition and terminology of multiple integrals, which is the fifth unit, unit 5 of matrices and calculus. Unit 5 of matrices and calculus. And we are going to refer all the definitions which are required for this multiple integrals in matrices and calculus and the understanding of which is very important to solve the problems conveniently. So let us see the definition and terminology of multiple integrals in the fifth unit of matrices and calculus. First, we need to, whenever we are going to apply any mathematical tools, we need to understand it properly so that we, we can apply that in the field which whichever they are applicable. Now, going to the first, as we are dealing with the multiple integrals, we need to learn what how to define integral. Integral can be defined as it is a when a function f of x is continuous in the interval in the closed interval a comma b we divide the interval into sub intervals of each of equal width that is delta x and each segment is represented by delta x from each closed interval choose a point xi then the definite integral of f of x from a to b is given by integral of a to b f of x dx f of x dx that means we are integrating we are finding the length of the curve of the uh, length of the curve of the function f of x from a from the point a to b where this is called as a definite integral because a and b are the fixed values next now when we we'll use double integration the multiple integral is defined is uh, a definite integral of a function of more than one real variable whenever we are facing like areas or surface areas then definitely the we need two types of measurements that, that is two variables and the integral involving such a type of fields is nothing but the double integrals so not only in uh, not only single we sometimes we need double integral sometimes we need triple integrations also at this level so whenever we have two variable equations of the functions then the, the integration regarding that is called as a double integral and and it is represented for it's represented by f of x comma y where x and y are the two different uh, variables that are involved in the experiment the integrals of uh, functions of two variables over the region 2 is called as a double integral and it is represented by double integral of f of x comma y dy into dx dy into dx dy over the region r in whatever region you are integrating that region will give you the limits for these two the values and these two lines represent one for one variable another for another variable and you also know that these two variables may be constants or it may be variable they may be variable limits also okay so that is the meaning of Double, in, uh, double integral. So, what is a triple integration? Integrals of a function of three variables over the region R3, that means a three dimensional figures. Whenever we use the integration over the three dimensional spaces, then that integration is said to be the triple integral and it is represented by triple integral over the, uh, over the, uh, the, uh, the curve C of f of x comma y comma z or over the closed region dx dy dz here as uh, as like a double integral here also the triple integral each line will represent gives the measurement of three different types of variables that are involved in the, in the three dimensional spaces that is x comma y comma z again Two of the variables may hold uh, variable limits 
and the one will uh, have the fixed limits or uh, there is a possibility that two may be fixed limits and one is a variable limit or all may be fixed limits here so whenever you specify um, give the limits for the for the give integral it they are called as a definite integrals now how many types of integrals will be there? There are two types of integrals are there, definite and indefinite integrals. You all know that an integral is definite if the limits are specified and they are, uh, uh, they, they are finite value. Okay. For example, you have a uh, integral of a to b f of x dx. That is integral of integral of 1 to 2 x dx c the the value of the limits are fixed here and they are constants so they are called as a definite integrals now what do, what do you mean by indefinite integrals indefinite integrals is is nothing but the integrals whose one of the limit is infinite one of the limit is infinite just like indefinite integrals you can uh, rep, uh, they may be represented as integral of indefinite integrals can be represented as integrals. Integral of 0 to infinity. See, one of the limit is infinite. Okay. So, f of x dx, right? Or you can have like integral of minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. Okay dx even this is also the infinite and apart from this no uh, you have the limits may be finite the functional value may be inf uh, but doesn't exist even these are also comes under the indefinite integrals now what are the definite integrals integral of a to b f of x dx is is called as a is called as definite integral is called definite integral so after after integrating f of x the values of x has to be substituted the upper limit is b and the lower limit is a now what are, what are the indefinite integrals an integral expressed without limits or so containing an arbitrary uh, constants, containing an arbitrary constants are called as indefinite integrals. Now, how to calculate the areas using double integral? You know that area contain, contains two variable measurements. So, whenever we deal with the double integrals, that's uh, nothing but the areas. So, the area of a closed bounded region R is defined as A is equal to double integral of d a a is equal to double integral of d a that means suppose if you are referring a, a, a square with a, from 0 to 2 and 0 to 3 that means x variables x variables are taken from 0 to 2 and y variables are taken from 0 to 3 so area of this is nothing but double integral of double integral of x raises x raises from 0 to 2 and y raises from uh, 0 to 3 dx dy dx dy so that is nothing but x into y and x has a limits from 0 to 2 and y has a limits from 0 to 3 that is just nothing but 2 into 3 which is nothing but 6 so 6 is the square units is a area of the particular thing so in this model the area of the double uh, double integral is, is used to find out the areas now how to calculate the volume of the triple integral? The triple integral of f of x comma y comma z over dv is using is a, using triple integrals is called as a volume. It's a, now we, by using this we can find out the volume of the tetrahedrons or uh, or three dimensional spaces. You can find you can find the volumes. So the volumistically here we need uh, three uh, variable measurements that is x, y and z. All the three are needed. Now what do you mean? What is the difference between double and triple integral? Now the, a double integral is used for integrating over two dimensional regions while triple integral is used for integrating over three dimensional regions through whenever you use a, a functional differentiation over the three dimensional spaces it's called as a triple integral because three variable uh, three variables are activated there and whose parameters are necessary to evaluate the integral part so there now now whenever you use uh, two only two variables then integral of such a type of thing is called as a double 
integral. Now, how to find out the area between two curves? How to find out the area between two curves? For, for example, a, a area, a area enclosed between the two parabolas, two parabolas. Now, this parabola is a uh, x square is equal to 4ay and uh, the another parabola is y square is equal to 4ax. The, now, we need to calculate the area enclosed between these two parabolas in the region R. Then, what we will do? We will find out the point of intersection of the two uh, of the two ends where they are meeting and uh, obviously, they have and we need to integrate the double integral from point 0 to a x rises from and y rises from 0 to a or y is a variable limit and x is a constant limit or x is a constant limit or y is a variable limit. Here the condition is whenever you are inter you have you want an area enclosed between the two region two regions then uh, two values uh, two the values of two variables cannot be taken as fixed values uh, because that can be ha happen for only only uh, standard regions like square or rectangle like that but uh, whenever a region is in between the two curves one has to be taken as fixed limit and another one has to be taken as variable limit so that is a condition so either uh, the total re region is divided into vertical strips or the total uh, region is divided into horizontal slides so the ends of which will give you the variable limits and uh, the point of intersection of uh, uh, two per uh, two, two curves will give you the uh, fixed limits so that is how we can calculate the area so area uh, the area under a curve between two points can be found out by doing a definite integral between two uh, points to find the area under the un, under the curve y is equal to f of x between x is equal to a and x is equal to b, integrate y is equal to f of x between the limits uh, a and b. So next, what is the double integral over the re rectangle? Double integral over rectangles recognize when a function of two variables is integral over the rectangular region or not. Okay, so we need to recognize a function of the two variables whether they are uh, uh, integral the two variables which are integrated over the rectangular region or not now what is r in the polar coordinates uh, what is capital r in the polar coordinates in the polar coordinates a point in a plane is determined by its distance r from the origin on from the origin see there are many uh, fields are there where, where we can have the measurement. Some like to uh, do the uh, mathematical operation in Cartesian field and some like to do the mathematical operation in polar field. Both are one or the same but uh, sometimes the polar uh, doing a problem in polar uh, coordinates is more convenient than doing a problem in the Cartesian coordinates. So, in that when you refer the question in the polar coordinate to measurements are required that is r and theta r represents the distance of the point from the pole suppose if this is an initial line initial line this is a pole point 0 a point p the distance of p from pole point is called as a r value and uh, and the angle that is made by there is a positive angle made by the line with the horizontal initial line is called as a uh, theta theta value so this is these are the polar coordinate systems and the same point can be referred in the cartesian form as a p of x comma y where x is a distance from x axis i mean x is the distance from y axis to the point and uh, y is the distance from x -axis access to that point. So, both are one at the same but this is a polar form of rep representation and this is a Cartesian form of representation the curves. So, that is the meaning and here you can say that in polar coordinates a point in the plane is determined by its distance r from the origin and the angle theta in radians between the line from origin to the point. Now, what is Z in the cylindrical coordinate systems? Cylindrical coordinates. In cylindrical coordinate system, a point in a space is represented by ordered pair R, comma, theta, comma, Z, where R and theta are the polar coordinates and projection of P to the uh, onto the XY plane and Z is a direct distance from the direct distance from XY plane to 
the point P. So here Z is nothing but the it is a direct distance from from the x y plane to the point P. Now, what is the relationship between the Cartesian and polar coordinates? Now, obviously, whenever you refer a Cartesian system, definitely x and y are the variables which come in our brain. And polar coordinates, that is r and theta. So, what is the relationship between x, x, x and y and r and theta? Here, x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. So, when by using these two relations, conveniently we can shift from one uh, co coordinate system to another coordinate system. So, suppose if the question is given in the Cartesian coordinate and the integral has been stuck in the middle, then conveniently you can convert that x y function in terms of r and theta and give the measurement of r and theta, the lower and upper limit of r and theta and comfortably you can do the problem. So, so sometimes uh, if the question is displayed in the polar, then you can convert it into the Carti uh, Cartesian system also. What is the Cartesian? Co what are the Cartesian coordinates? If the the uh, x and y coordinates of a point measure the both x and y here refers to the length uh, where um, the polar coordinates r is a length and uh, theta is a an angle but here you don't have any angle measurement so x and y are the point uh, measure and uh, the respective distances from the point uh, to the plot to the pair of perpendicular here i have uh, given here so these are these are the y and these are the this is the x uh, values okay so that is the respective distance from the point to the pair of perpendicular lines uh, in the plane are called as a cartesian coordinates and which meet the which meet at the uh, origin that means the two uh, the horizontal and the vertical lines meet at the origin o origin o the point of intersection and uh, these are the uh, few and next what is the formula for the area of the region the area of the region as we have referred double integral of dy dx or sometimes it can be written uh, it can be written as double integral of dx dy also according to the uh, values that are given in the vision you can comfortably change from dx dy or dy dx okay next what are the limits of double integral x square plus y square dy dx in the positive quadrant of x plus y less than or equal to 1 x plus y less than or equal to 1 x plus y less than or equal to 1 now we are x plus y is equal to 1 let's suppose that and this is 1 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 1 let's suppose that we are refer uh, uh, we are referring to the region which is below the uh, given line x plus y is equal to 1 so the obviously x raises from what are the limits here x raises from 0 to 1 and y raises from 0 to 1 minus x because uh, as you know you know that in double integrals one has to be whenever the limits are picked from the regions one has to be taken in the uh, variable limits and one should be in a fixed limits so therefore um, if x is equal to 0 to 1 y is equal to 0 to 1 minus x or if y is equal to 0 to 1 then x has to be taken from 1 minus y either of the way you can take the according to the our conveniency you can take this so if y is equal to taken from 0 to 1 then x has to be taken from 0 to 1 minus 1 minus y right that means we need to do the first exit if different integrals then convert it in terms of a single integral then you can apply the y, y uh, dy value integral of dy then uh, apply the fixed limits to get the numerical answer the order of integration of 0 to a integral 0 to a 0 to, uh, and y to a x dx dy first with respect to x first we need to do with respect to x look here e the limits are given in terms of y that means they belongs to the opposite variable what is our another variable here x so they belongs to x so first we need to do with respect to x then with y the order of integration of integral 0 to 1 0 to 2 dx dy now any anything you can uh, take because both are fixed either you can do with uh, uh, with x first then with y but remember the if the situation arises like this the first we need to do with x than with y then with y so the next one is uh, the y is done after x has been done. suppose if inside one dy is there then this uh, uh, 0 to 2 rep uh, belongs to y in y uh, variables okay 
so the next one the limits of integral 0 to infinity x to infinity e to the power of minus y uh, minus y by y dx dy now here x raises from 0 to y and y raises from 0 to infinity look here see this uh, these are the value this is x uh, that means this uh, is the value of y these are the variable limits so y what are the limits for y here referred as x uh, y uh, is uh, taken from x to infinity and uh, x is uh, taken from 0 to infinity. So, which one we need to do uh, first? We need to do x first uh, then, and or if we are convert, uh, doing this then x first then by the after converting uh, x in terms of y you can do x values or you can uh, first y or then with so either of the way you can take uh, uh, this these are all discussed in change of order of integration in double integrals so these are the definitions and terminology which are used in multiple integrals once again the multiple integrals we have double and triple integrals and uh, for single integrals are already taught in the elementary uh, schools so here from in uh, in matrices and algebra we have only two that is double integrals and triple integrals and finding out the areas by double integrals and volumes by triple integrals so here one thing we should know uh, we should uh, be particular when the two limit how to when the limits are given in double or triple integrals what the to what variable the limits belongs to that is very important if both the, the if all the limits are fixed limits or numerical values then you can follow the inside the derivation order that that he has given in the equation. Suppose if the limits are given in the variable limits, then you need to uh, see to which the, the other variable uh, to which these variable limits are belongs to. That has to be done first. Then in the one eliminating one by one variable, then converting into the constants. So these are the uh, the few definitions and terminology of uh, fifth unit matrices and calculus. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.